in this video, I will show you how to do seemingly unrelated regressions in R. Before you watch it, please make sure you've watched my other videos called seemingly unrelated regressions and seemingly unrelated regressions example. I have opened up the program here in, in R Studio and I have already executed it and we're going to have data on uh, scores coming from high school and this would be our variables that we have we would have two equations the reading score and the math score would be our dependent variables and then we would have uh, for independent variables females the program and their science and their social sciences score so if we go ahead and here's how we read the data in and this is a file and the program that you can download from my website and then we can go ahead and define the variables for my first equation y1 would be math for the second equation y2 would be read and then as independent variables we would have x1 female program and science and x2 would be female social sciences so when you do SUR, all you have to do is specify the dependent variables here for the first and second equation and then the independent variables. And it's a very good idea if you have variables that are showing up in one of the equations but not in the other equation. So the next thing is just defining equation 1, which is y1 regressed on x1. And the second equation is y2 regressed on x2. And the system would be a list. Equation 1 would be this thing. And equation 2 would be this thing, equation 2. So now that we have specified all the variables in the system, we can uh, look at some descriptive statistics. And you can see summary for Y1 and Y2. We have average scores of uh, 52 to 53 uh, points. And then you can see the summary variables for the independent um, the summary statistics for the independent variables the next thing is to look to estimate OLS regressions separately for the two of the equation and using the linear model of y1 regressed on x1 and y2 regressed on x2 so these are completely independent OLS regressions and we can take a look at the results so I will concentrate on this score here it turns out that for each score that you have increase in science in their science score we would have 0.59 points increase in the math score so this is the normal OLS interpretation and this is the other equation so the way to do SUR models is to use the system fit command and you specify the system which we already specified the equations here and put method equals SUR and then read in the data and then summarize the results. So here is the SUR model and the results summarized here. And again, we have the two equations estimated here. And you can take a look at the science variable, uh, the coefficient on the science score and you can see that it has changed a little bit from the OLS regression so right now it's 53 instead of 59, 0.53 instead of 0.59 so, um, so it has changed just a little bit and you interpret it in the same way that when a person has one unit higher of science score they will have 0.63 units higher of math score and I think um, this is pretty much um, everything that I had here to cover. Uh, one interesting thing also to mention here is the correlations of the residuals and you can see that's estimated between equation 1 and equation 2 and you can also include this in, in your results. So that's all I had for the SUR model. Thanks for watching.